Trump's authors. However, the documents also reveal that Megan did talk to a friend who she knew was working with the authors because she did not want the drama with her father, Thomas, to be misrepresented. Megan apparently let this person know that she did not abandon her father and tried many times to get in touch with him and ask him to please not engage with the media about their relationship. And all of that info got into the book. So, <laughs> Justin, are you shocked? She was telling the truth. <laughs> She told the truth. She did not give direct info to the author. She was not working directly with the okay. author. So I, obviously, like, it's true, but I read the book. Had you read the book? No, I haven't read the book The yet. book was so specific <laughs> that there was no way in hell this book couldn't have been written right. without their account. I mean, like, right. even down to the proposal, it's like, over baked chicken and roasted potatoes with shallot puree on the side, Prince Harry got on one knee over a, a brown wooded floor and proposed to Meghan Markle while she wore a J. Crew sweater. Like, it was too <laughs> much info that somebody could just make that up or guess it. Right, exactly. I mean, I I've just seen excerpts about it, and that's kind of was my take too. Is like there had to be some part or something, and you know, and that's what we do, right? Like especially like your friends going to a party, and you know that the question's going to be like, well, how's Carissa doing? It's, you make sure you talk to that friend ahead of time to be like, here's how I'm doing in case anyone asks. One hundred is going great. Okay, exactly. I don't care if I'm falling apart. You do not let that happen. Exactly. Going great. My my hair's never looked better. Yes. <laughs> you know, all Agreed. All those things. It's, it's a classic kind of move. Normal, but they're yeah. they're a prince. She's a princess. He's a prince. Was a prince. Whatever. Uh, whatever. Duchess. Technically, I mean, it kind of they're supposed to keep all that stuff, you know, to themselves. I think if anybody's writing a biography about you, you have the right to, to yeah. you know, say your piece, to say your part. Whether it's directly or through somebody else's, mm -hmm. this is going to be in history for the rest of your life, for your kids' lives. Like, put your two cents in. I would have did it, and I would have claimed it. I would have been like, yeah, bitch, I did it. No worries. Let's just hope that that friend got the story right, you know? <laughs>